All right, so hopefully all you guys are doing really well and you're all safe and happy. Now, for today's assignment, what I actually assigned was you guys are going to be doing epidemiology. So epidemiology is basically when people are studying what's actually affecting people, so what type of diseases are affecting people at the moment. So this one is kind of current, but it's actually a little bit older than that. It's about a decade old, and it's found on PBS if you're wondering where it is. But more importantly, there are actually three videos you will have to watch in order to answer the question. So the first one that you should be watching is about Jon Snow. Now, Jon Snow was actually a scientist in the 1800s in London. And basically, what he's famous for was he managed to discover what was causing cholera. Cholera is a very um, dangerous disease that causes a lot of people to get very violently ill. And eventually, if it's not very treated or they don't get treatment, they actually can die from it. Now, most of the time now, due to clean drinking water, we actually don't have to deal with cholera that much. But in other countries, they still deal with this issue till this day. But for your second video, this is right around 1999 or so, they started realizing there was an issue with some animals that were mysteriously dying. But more importantly, they also started to realize more people started getting hospitalized in New York City as well. And uh, one person started wondering, well, what's going on? And they started thinking, well, if this can get into not only the animals, but the people, it can be a real serious issue. Now, eventually, they did discover it is a type of illness called West Nile virus. Now, West Nile virus is, of course, something that was discovered in Africa. And it's actually brought over by mosquitoes. Now, if you remember, it's mostly fleas that were responsible for the plague in the medieval ages. Now, we have to deal with mosquitoes because mosquitoes can carry all sorts of diseases as well. But it's not the mosquito itself, it's actually what they carry inside them. It's usually bacteria or some sort of virus that they transmit to people, so even they can get sick from this virus. But we found out that they were the root cause of West Nile virus. Now, it is easily treatable, but you sometimes will have some symptoms of like a high fever because that's basically your body trying to fight it off. But after you watch all three videos, you're going to take a very short review, like sort of assignment. So please make sure you answer to the best of your ability. Now, for example, you can put down your name because that is a requirement, but you can select what you want. Now, most of these are actually multiple choice in that. But the nice thing is, you can actually go back eventually and edit these. So if you want to actually get a better score, and more importantly, the ones that are actually where you just type in your answer, you will actually have to, um, I will actually have to manually edit those. So if you realize that maybe your score is a little bit low, that may not be the case because I have to actually go back into the system once you submit them and actually grade them myself. But, for example, let's try to submit something. Now, it will actually allow you to view your score. And so I got nothing correct at this moment. But, the nice thing is, I can edit my responses. Now, say I just change a couple of them. And then, eventually, I can maybe get a much better score. So I can always look at my score, and then from judging there, I got a 9 out of 22. Now remember, the actual short answers are worth a ten, total points of actually 10, because they're actually 5 points each. So for right now, I didn't do too bad. But you can review your answers always so if you want to go back and get a much better score that will work now far as where the work is being posted remember 
all the work is posted up on Schoology as well as Google Classroom. So, and as they mentioned the announcement not too long ago, you can actually go to the Roy Romer Middle School website. And now what you're going to do if you have a question or you want to email me, you actually go to the far where it's the three bars and you click down and you click under the teacher tab under your teachers. And more importantly, what happens is you just scroll all the way down and you should be able to see my name. Now for this one, if you click on the little envelope, it will be a contact form that you can fill out in the message. And I will get that through my email. Now remember, it may take me a while, it may take me a couple hours, it may take me a day, depending on what happens. But I will also be updating on assignments here. So this is a type like a little personal website that we all set up. Now it will mention about any possible upcoming assignments that will be posted at the bottom. But more importantly, you can actually go back on the calendar itself later on and actually look what you currently missed. So remember, you can always go under Schoology as well as Google Classroom, and you can always email me on the Roy Romer Middle School website. So if you have any questions about this assignment or any other assignments that you may be missing, remember, you can always make them up. There is no actual due date that I formally set up, and I can always just go back and grade those. Now, far as live sessions, I will do Go Guardian once in a while, but due to the scheduling conflict, it will be very difficult sometimes. But remember, I will probably be on Tuesdays or Thursdays. And once again, remember, my office hours are around 2.15 to 2.47. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And more importantly, Tuesday is actually 12.45 to 1.15. So please make sure you always check that schedule. And I will make sure that I always provide news and updates for you. Thank you and have a nice day.